Hey guys, just want to make a quick video in regards to the crate that your Grom clone comes in. In my particular case, it's a Hellcat, but they're all the same. Uh, you know, a really good use for this would be to make a workbench. You know, all you got to really do, go up to Lowe's, Home Depot, get yourself a piece of half inch or three quarter plywood, even OSB if you want to be cheap about it. And, uh, you know, get yourself some self-tapping screws good ones of course and you can screw it down what you know or you can also grab a drill bit with some carriage bolts and nuts and bolt it down that way you can probably uh you know leave the measure give yourself like an inch and a half overhang that way you get a little bit wider you know workbench and uh shouldn't be an issue you know but inch and a half both ends and both sides you know so basically you're adding three inches add three inches but, you know, it's the perfect height. You know, it's right at your waist. Uh, I mean, it would, if you need a workbench and you ain't got one, th this is the perfect workbench, man. It's already pretty stout. It's all supported. You know, I mean, it, it's good enough to protect your bike from China to here. You know, so it, it shouldn't pose an issue if you want to slap your motor up there or whatever you feel like working on. It, w it would be great for that. I haven't done mine yet, as you know, because I've been working on my engine. But it'd be great for that. You know, so before you throw it away, if you're in the market for a workbench, well, you got one right there. You just don't know it. But I just wanted to share that, you know, and give a couple of you guys, uh, you know, some ideas. That way you can get a workbench. Don't mind the cat. Or my crazy dog. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. And uh, hopefully, I can get this 190 fixed up and get it ripping. Take care.